Since most phones have a GPS receiver built in, you would say that you can land survey with a phone. But when you watch well, you can see some differences between a phone and a complete GPS surveying kit. The GNS receiver in the GPS surveying kit is the only item that determines the position. So to see if you can land survey with a phone, we should first know how a GNS receiver works. And for determining the exact position, there are two main parts that are integrated in the GNS receiver. The first item is the antenna. The antenna receives the satellite signals and sends those signals to the other part in the GNS receiver. That is important for determining the exact position. This is the RTK module. The RTK module calculates the exact position with the satellite signals that it gets from the antenna and with the correction that it receives. Corrections you say? Yes, a GNS receiver needs corrections to determine the exact position quickly. If a GNS receiver does not get those corrections, then it would take like half an hour to get an exact position. And that is not what you want when you want to start land surveying. The GNS receiver gets those corrections from a base station or an Antrip network, which is kind of a network with many base stations. A base station is a GNS receiver that is on a steady position for a long time, so it can determine the exact position. And by knowing that exact position, it can determine the error of the position being determined by just the satellite signals. The corrections of that error are sent to the GNS receiver in the GPS surveying kit. And with those two corrections, the GNS receiver can get the exact position. A phone has a GPS receiver and an antenna built in, so you would be able to land survey with it, right? That is not completely true. Now I'll tell you why. You can see that the phone is already smaller than the diameter of the GNS receiver. In this case, the AMLET Reads RS2. This AMLET Reads RS2 GNS receiver has a nice circular shape. That is the shape of the antenna. And in GNS receivers, they like to put big antennas. The bigger the antenna, the more satellite signals can be received. And seeing the size of the phone, you can know for sure that the GPS antenna in the phone is much smaller than the antenna in a professional GNS receiver. The other thing is that the phone does not have a RTK module. It has a GPS receiver, which can calculate the position globally. But that does not work with the corrections that are needed to determine an exact position. So no, you should not start to land survey with just a phone, because your accuracy will be very low. Another disadvantage of land surveying with a phone is that you don't know exactly from which location in the phone the GPS receiver determines the position. And if you want to land survey accurate, then you have to know that exactly. In the video on the top right, we did compare the accuracy of a phone with the accuracy of a professional GPS surveying kit. You can check out the results in that video. But of course, when you connect your phone with Aglo Survey Wizard, the easy to use land survey software, to a GNS receiver, then you can land survey with a phone. And then your accuracy will be on centimeter level. So if you want to land survey with a phone, make sure you also have the other components that you need for centimeter accurate land surveying. You can see what you need in the video next to me. 